This is Kiwis Romai, the citizen of Rome, here with the fourth installment of Ironic Words. Today's ironic words are devil and divine, and the irony of them is that they are cognates, that is, they share a common etymology. The reason for this goes back to the Indo-Iranians, also known as the Aryans, who settled in Iran and Pakistan some four to six thousand years ago. Because they spoke a derivative of Proto-Indo-European, their language is related to English. We know a little about their religion from two texts, the Rig Veda from India and the Avesta from Iran, together the two oldest religious texts in the world. There were various gods, and among them were beings called Devas in Sanskrit and Divas in Avestan. These names meant the shiny ones, and are cognates of the English word divine, presumably because the Indo-Europeans who invaded Europe also worshipped beings with a similar name. In ancient Iran, Zoroaster came up with, for the first time, the idea of a perfect god, one that embodies all that is good in the universe, known as Mazda, just like the car company, and his opposite, a god that is completely evil, known as Ahriman, who was essentially the earliest version of Satan. The Divas, according to Zoroaster, were the gods that had been deceived by Ahriman into doing evil and fighting the good, and thus came to be seen as demons rather than a class of gods. When the West made contact with Persia, there was naturally some cultural and lexical borrowing, and the word diva came into English as devil. So the word devil came from the same Indo-European root as divine, but changes in theology over the centuries have given them almost opposite meanings.